Hey everybody. This video is about assembling your F2 surface mount fence. Let's start by looking at what you've received. You have an extrusion, which will be the fence itself. Uh, you have an end cap already installed. This indicates um, which side is up. So then we have two base bars. They're different lengths. Uh, you have an extra end cap for the other end of the fence. Uh, six T-nuts, six screws, and two fence blocks. Now, you are gonna need a 5.30 seconds or a four millimeter Allen wrench. Um, I prefer a T-handle, but regular style will work as well. So, the first thing you wanna do, let's take this base bar, the shorter one, and you're just gonna assemble the hardware. And what you wanna do with this T-nut is you'll notice it's got a little protrusion on one side, not on the other. We call this the neck. You want the neck to face away from the bar. If you have it facing toward the bar, then, the, then it won't really be able to do its job. So let's get this other one. Get that on there started. And one more. So super easy. And now these are ready to go. So. I am going to put this on the bottom of the fence. We can, tell what the, we can tell what the bottom of the fence is by looking at the end cap. This opening, that's the top of the fence. So this is the bottom. So now, just slide this base bar right on like so. Keep your T-nuts aligned. Okay, just bring this down to the end. Even with the base bar, just leave that there for now. And now we'll do the same hardware setup with the other base bar and uh, join that in progress in a minute. All right, so I've got the hardware in the other base bar. So let's just do the same thing with that one. Slide that in from the end. And that's just gonna come up and touch the first one. Now, before we tighten this, I wanna explain something. The slots in the extrusion um, always have a little bit of variation that it's impossible to control. It's just part of the way extrusion works. So we have our base bars machined very precisely, but we have to make sure that they're slightly smaller than the opening in this extrusion so they can always fit in case that opening is a little bit narrower sometimes. So in some cases you'll find there's a little bit of movement here side to side. It, that is inevitable if you want to make these sure these can all go together. So in order to make sure that the working face of the fence, the one that faces you when you're working, is in plane with the base bar. Um, we're gonna make sure that you put that face down, because it's gonna look like this when you're working on it. So I wanna put that down before I tighten the hardware. So I'm down on a nice flat surface. Take my wrench, and we'll just start with a short one. Again, just even it up with the end cap, okay? I'm gonna come over here and just making sure that both of these pieces are flat against the surface. Tighten that screw, tighten this screw, and the other. Same thing with the next base bar. Just make sure that it's touching the first one. Again, holding them both down together. Very simple concept. And we'll do the same here. And the same here. Now, that is all set. These are all in the same plane. So now we're gonna put the fence blocks in. And so you wanna just loosen this hardware a little bit and then slide the first one on. This way, set this over like so. Put that T-bolt in like that. So now this can go anywhere along the length of the fence and Wherever you want it, you can just tighten that knob and that's gonna be good to go. Same thing with this other one. This is on the back of the fence, of course. So those are set tentatively and not, not positioned relative to the holes yet. But the last thing to do is put your other end cap on. So that is just gonna pop in here. Now, it might be pretty snug. Again, variations in all things. And so the thing to do, that one went right in right in. So the thing to do, if it is a little bit tight, just come against your surface like this, 
press it down till it's in all the way, or you can tap it in lightly with a rubber mallet or something. So now this fence is operational. And the way we would use this is just, we move the fence blocks so that they line up with holes in your tabletop, wherever those are and however you want to position it. I've got this in. So now I'm in the holes, I'm going to tighten the knobs that hold the block to the fence. And now tighten the knobs that hold the fence to the table. So now that's in and it's a super solid connection. Also, if you need to move the fence without moving the fence blocks, you just loosen those knobs in the back and then you can do this. So you have a lot of adjustment. Fence blocks also um, install on track stars. For example, if you want to run a track star in the front or the back of your um, table, you can end up pivoting this whole thing around just by loosening the fence block. It will slide along the fence. And uh, you can complement this all with a flip stop and you'll be all set to go. Thanks for watching.